Hey everybody, coming at you with another triad update. Pardon the new scenery. Uh, gonna be in Maine for the next month. So a uh, little bit of a different appearance here today, but same lesson schedule. So here we go. Uh, today, we're gonna look at sus four triads. We've already looked at major, we've looked at minor, and usually, uh, when people do triads, they, they would now learn diminished and augmented triads. But I'm kind of going to skip that for now and go right into these sus4 triads and eventually sus2. So uh, what's nice about these sus4 triads is if you know your major triads already, which was based off of the 1, 3, and 5 from a major scale, you just have to take the 3 and bump it up a half step or one fret to the four. So for example, if we were in the key of C, right, a major triad, if we had a C major scale, C major triad was the first note, the third note, and the fifth note. And we would get little shapes like this, right? So to turn this one, three, five into a sus four. Uh, basically, we just have to find that third note, which in the key of C is an E. So in all these triads, we're gonna find this E note, bump it up one fret to F instead. So instead of this, we're now gonna have this. Really cool sound, the sus four sound. Uh, sus, short for suspended, cool way of thinking of it, uh, is that the three has been suspended from school and the four is the new kid in town. So taking this three, bumping it up to the four. And then we go to the first inversion of C, which looked like this originally. And same thing, we find this E, bump it up to F. And then second inversion looked like this. I'll move it down here so it's a little easier to deal with. Same thing, we find this E, move it up a fret so that everything is in the same fret. So you could basically bar it or, or do something like this. So here's all of our sus4 C chords on this set of strings. Root position. First inversion and second inversion. And now uh, all of these are going to look pretty much the same on the next set of strings. The next set of strings always is like duplicate shapes. So C is now all the way down here. Originally, right, it looked like this. Imagining this open string is a fret. I'm going to move this E up to F, just like we did before. Now it's sus4. Here's our first inversion major chord, which we're now gonna take that E, move it up to F. Here is our second inversion, C, and we're gonna take this E, move it up to F. It's the same bar again. Now to the next set of strings. On the next set, the D, G, and B set, C is all the way up here at the 10th fret. This is what our original major chord looked like. So we're going to find that 3 or that E, bump it up one fret. It's kind of nice. You could actually leave this down and just lift and drop the pinky to get that sus4 sound, cool sound. Then we move to sec uh, first inversion, which originally looked like this for standard major. And we're gonna take that E, move it up to F. Try to get my finger out of the way so you can see it. And then second inversion looked like this originally, with the C right there in the middle and the E on the B string. So we're gonna Bump that E up one fret. And now 
on to second inversion, sus4 chord. And then the last set. So on the GBE set, C is here on the G string. This is what the original major triad looked like. So we're gonna find that E, which is right here where the pinky is, bump it up a fret. There's our C sus4 root position. Now we're gonna move up to first inversion, which looked like this originally. Same thing, here's that E, bump it up one fret to F. And then lastly, second inversion, which looked like this. Here's the C right here, and it looks like a little D shape. And to make it sus4, once again, we find the E, which is here on the E string, and we're gonna bump it up. So you could either just drop your pinky down or do something like this. That's all your sus4 chords. I think these are cool one, uh, cool set of chords to try before jumping into the weird stuff like the augmented and diminished chords, which at first will seem a little less useful until we go over how to use them uh, in context. So those are your major triads. Uh, sorry, major sus4 triads. Uh, check out the sheet and study up.